Do you know how to make a good YouTube font great? Today's Canva tutorial features three great fonts, making three templates better, and some tricks on finding some awesome fonts for thumbnails. Welcome to the Canva classroom, everybody. Let's get started. I think that this one looks great because of the fonts. The font for this number is Beavis New Cyrillic. And one tip that I would like to give you is that sometimes in the case of numbers, you might need to use a slightly different font than your words. And for the words, this thumbnail uses stat liches, stat leakes. I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm probably butchering it. It's a great one. I think it looks very simple. It's bold and it's wonderful. And one thing you're going to want to do when you pull down a thumbnail is look at the text effect to see what text effects they've given it. Because if this had none, it would give it a vastly different look than with the text effect. Do you see? You just need a little text effect to bump up your thumbnail font. I thought it needed a couple more things, and this is what I did. I gave it a grid with something that was a blue that had a blue texture, and then I changed the transparency down to 18. And then I added a text effect for the top word and, and changed the color to match her leggings. I also made it much bigger. So look at this one. And now look at this one. Let's go to this one. The font for this one is Cooper Hewitt Heavy. And for this one, they used yellow. There's no text effect. And for this one, they used a splice text effect with that thickness, this offset, that direction, and that color. I made quite a few adjustments to this one. I changed it to a pink with black, so this is an element here. I gave the shoe an outline by clicking Edit Image and adding a shadow. And when you add a shadow like this, if you take the blur down to zero and you add the transparency up to 100 and you change the size, it will give you a plain outline around an object and I changed this color. I also changed the text effects. I gave this one a shadow with a very large blur and some transparency, and I took the offset of this one and changed the color. So it went from this to this. Let's look at this one. This font is called Love Low. Love Low is a great, great font to use. However, this thumbnail to me has too much stuff on it. I honestly, in my opinion, I don't think that you need the word subscribe or notification bell on a thumbnail. I also don't think that you need to tell how many views are either on the video or on your channel because people can see that if you've allowed them to see that. I also think that this is a little redundant. Makeup tutorial, everyday makeup tutorial, just add every day to the top of that, get rid of that, and this is what I did. Everyday makeup tutorial, I used the color that they had, and I even made an adjustment to her image here. And I am gonna show you how I did that. What I do is I shrink my image down, so like 46%, and then you double click, and now you can drag outside. So I've left click, drag, and now I'm cropping it up, and that looks much better. She's able to be moved over so that the words won't go into her face when I made them bigger. What are the three tricks for finding good fonts for thumbnails? We've got it selected. Select the arrow down. Type in the word bold. If you type in the word bold, you're gonna get a lot of results that have the word bold in them. And a lot of these are gonna be really good for thumbnail fonts. If it has the crown on it, it means that it is only available for Canva Pro members. But like this one, Nord Bold is a free font. 
Let's look up the word heavy. Cooper Hewitt heavy is there. There's Cosmo Octo heavy. Now this one to me is a little difficult to read. Biryani heavy is a good one. Composite heavy is a good one. Ooh, that one's nice. It's called Cocomat Pro heavy. If you will notice, this would not be good because hottest is actually misspelled. So make sure that you're spell checking your templates because you do not want to have a mistake in spelling on your thumbnail. This one's Montserrat Extra. So that's another keyword to look up, extra. Some of them look great, some of them don't. Poppins Extra Bold is fun. Stot, Stotlicus. <laughs> sounds so bad. Stot, Stotlicious. If you like today's Canva lesson and want to see more like it, then make sure that you are subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye.